So this is part two to yesterday's tutorial. This one will show you how to apply the scoring event buff to one variant instead of the whole class. First, open up the soldier file you're working with. Add two items to the components and increase all the counts by two. Open the components, scroll all the way down. We are going to need a weapon splitter and an event sync data. Open the human folder, single click audio, scroll down, and open audio sunflower. Open the objects, scroll down, and copy the weapon splitter entity data. Paste it to this object in the soldier file. After you do that, type in in-game logic into the search bar. Open game modes, open game mode logic, single click in game logic, and open Russian game logic. Open the objects, copy an event sync item, and paste it back here. Open the weapon splitter, remove the existing item, add a new item. Type in VO system into the search bar. Open sound, single click VO, click the VO system asset, assign it here, and pick the variant you want it to be. Scroll up to the event connections, add two new ones, open them, and go down to the bottom. We're going to change this connection a bit by changing the target to weapon splitter and the target event to in. Also the target type will be set to client. For the next connection, set the source to the weapon splitter and the target to event sync. The source event will be your chosen variant's voiceover, and the target event will be client. For the last connection, set the source to event sync and the target to player ID tracker. The source event will be out and the target event will be set player ID. Make sure to pick the right player ID tracker and don't screw up like I did. <laughs> Lastly, set this one's target type to server. I'll quickly save the project and then launch the game to see if Powerflower is the only one who gets the buff. First, I'll test it with Metal Pedal. Metal 
Nope, no buff. And now Power Flower. There we go. And that pretty much concludes the video. Thank you all for watching, and have a happy St. Patrick's Day.